Hello, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 2021 Taiwan International Fishery and Seafood Show. I'm your MC today, Queenie. Nowadays, the fishery industries are very different from the past. With the new technology, we are going to reach the goal of sustainable utilization of marine resources. Our online exhibition will start from 2 to 31 of December in 2021. Today, with our presentation, we are going to show you our next trend and new products. So now let's welcome Shamo Yufu from Science Biotech. Hello everyone, this is Jacob Lu. I'm the CEO of the Science Biotech. Yeah, our company is in Taiwan and we're doing for the aquavoltaic and uh, the cold chain. This is how we are major in the fishery. And what we are doing that is um, we culture in the fish, we manage the farm, and we use the IoT system. And here is our one-stop shops. That the beginning we culture in the fish, then we use the IoT to do the management and we have our own cold chain. Finally, we need to do the possession and doing the trading. And here is our advantages compared to other competitors. Science Biotech do have this of the advantage from the beginning to the end. Before that, uh, we have about 600 acres. This is our aquaculture size for doing the seafood supply chain. These are the species that uh, before we culture in the overseas, like in Malaysia, in Vietnam, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, and to the Middle East. So here's got the fishes and some other crustaceans. And this is the seasoning for the variation of the price. So Science Biotech, we have our patented coaching, so we can frozen the seafood in very high quality. Now when the price is getting up, so we can sell it to the market. So on the other hand, we can to sub constantly supply to the market demand. So this is our fit at Malaysia. What's fit? The fit is stem for the frozen in time system. So we have our own possession factory, and this is our fit. We can frozen the food much, much better than standard IQF. So this is our, our product. This is all culture in, in the totally seawater. So the salinity is high, the quality is good. And uh, you can see on the left hand side that is the frozen condition and I defrost it. Then we can see how's the cooking condition about this. Normally as we know that the fresh giant prong is very difficult to be frozen type. Well, so I use some of the salt then pan fried. You can see the meat condition is still is juicy. Also we can frozen the oyster. That you can see the original fresh oyster and now in the middle part will be the frozen condition and I defrost it and use the water to boil it. Also, we can frozen the eggs. This will be the raw eggs. So when we pan fry it, I believe that the quality will make you feel amazing. Fruit, this is the mango. One of the very best fruit in Taiwan. Taiwan's mango is very good quality and we export into Japan and some other high demand countries. And there's other fruit. Oh, you can see that we got the guava, papaya, even the kiwis, something else. So when we defrost it, it becomes like this way. It being very close to the fresh. And this also is the fruit that in Taiwan, so we try to frozen different type of the species. So here's uh, one of the major thing we discussed the trips. 
Let me when we defrost the items, they will have the waters comes out that we call drips. So here we compete like the IQF. If that the mint is per kilo, there's only about 2% of the drips. That is much, much less than the standard IQF. And here is we compared to other of the frozen tax. So, so far we can see that the fish have the better efficiency and the lower the cost. So our model is we can use the leasing type and we can have the joint venture or we can help to build out how the culture and making the turnkey. Here's my content. Okay, so if anybody is interested, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Appreciate. Let's welcome Dr. Xin Yu Zhu from Aqua Essence Aqua Biotech. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Aqua Essence Aqua Biotech Company is a start is a spin-off company founded by National Taiwan Ocean University. I'm Xin Yu Zhou from NTOU and also the presenter of today. Today we are going to share some of our achievement on innovative L. AB feed additive for aquaculture. Aquaculture, according to Peter Drucker, is the most promising investment opportunity in 21st century. However, disease problems have been threatening the industry for many years. In addition, food safety issue has strictly have uh, gradually attracted attention in recent years. And antibiotic-free production as has become a world trend. Therefore, in order to develop new control strategy against bacterial diseases of aquatic animals, we extensively explore changes in gut microbiota of uh, three kinds of fish and shrimp through metagenomic study. And we found that uh, several lactic bacteria that have antagonistic effect on pathogen bacteria. Therefore, we using the self-developed encapsulation technology to develop feed jumbo, a normal lactic acid bacterial feed additive for aquaculture. And here is some of the result on uh, efficacy evaluation of uh, fish jumbo. First of all, you can see that amount of good bacteria in the intestinal tract increased significantly after two weeks of feeding fish jumbo. However, the effect of inhibiting bad bacteria can only be manifested after a week after feeding. And the same phenomena has also observed in group culture. Therefore, we recommend it for continuously long-term feeding. As for other results, we summarize as follow. And the first one, you can see, the upper uh, figure is the photo of uh, the intestinal histology observation. And compared with commercial feed group, the villa arrangement of feed jumbo railing white shrimp is more intact and tighter. And the intestinal permeability effect health, the intact intestinal mucosa help improve the disease resistant organism. And the second one, you can see which jumbo can only increase the weight gain and also help increase SOD activity. And the third one here, the result of challenge test show that fish shampoo have very good uh, antiviral effect. And the result also being confirmed in farm with outbreaks of shrimp early mortality syndrome, EMS. So the fish shampoo a normal aquatic feed additive, which adopt to encapsulated live lactic bacteria, bacteria, has been developed as a commodity and applied for uh, on-site use for aquaculture. And the relative result have some uh, can, can confirm uh, with a three award in uh, 2017, 2019, and 2021. We also cooperated with the aquaculture farmer. And we produce a series of uh, uh, yogurt aquatic cereals. And we ensure that the safety from production to 
uh, to farmer to to table. And we appreciate you visiting our website or contacting us. Our colleague will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you. So let's welcome Wu Wenqi from Taiwan Ocean Conversation and Fisheries Sustainability Foundation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wen Qi Wu, the project manager from Taiwan Ocean Conservation and Fisheries Sustainability Foundation, whose abbreviation is TOF. Aiming to solve miscellaneous difficulties and challenges in the course of sustainable development, we have been focusing on all-round coastal marine ecological conservation and restoration and um, they are, for example, sustainable management of fisheries resources, sustainable seafood certification, food and fishery education, intelligent fishing ports, and so on. And among more than 50 projects that we are engaged in at the moment, the most pioneering one is to promote Taiwan's first seafood eco-label, whose name is ProFish Eco Label. Launched in 2020, the assessment is divided into two parts. The first part is the fishery certification. The certified fleet can be awarded ProFish Eco Label and is called Friendly Fishing Fleet under the whole system. And the second part is the chain of custod custody, whose abbreviation is COC certification. The range of the COC certification covers processing plants in the secondary industry and the restaurants and retailers in the tertiary industry. And when a friendly fishing fleet applies for the fishery certification, the assessment is divided into four major concerns. In addition to the three concerns mentioned in the United Nations guidelines, we also list corporate social responsibility to the assessment for the purpose of improving fishermen's welfare and their working environment. Lending declaration is of paramount importance in the field of sustainable development and it can ensure that the traceability of seafood is fulfilled. In order to support Taiwan's government policy and ensure that lending declaration is fulfilled thoroughly, we not only dispatch more than 200 colleagues to different harbors in Taiwan to help fishermen with their lending declaration, we also develop an ape that help fishermen create their own lending declaration in just one minute. Taiwan mackerel is the first seafood that's certified by ProFish Anchor Label and its um, friendly fishing fleet is called Nan Fang Ao, mackerel fishing fleet. And Nan Fang Ao is a small town in northeast Taiwan and uh, it's very popular because the the fishing method is the Taiwanese, uh, Taiwanese sam. This product is characterized by its low fat and high protein nutrition. Customers and consumers can easily purchase this product at every carrefour in Taiwan. And the latest sustainable seafood product certified by ProFish Anchor Label is Taiwan mackerel extract soup. The mackerels used in this soup come from Nan Fang Ao mackerel um, friendly fishing fleet as well. And today it's my greatest honor here to introduce to you all what we have done in our foundation. And I am deeply convinced that we are all able to exert the influences here and to um, to help the sustainable development in the future. Thank you. Let's welcome Jen Ken Lu from National Taiwan Ocean University. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Jen Ken Lu uh, from National Taiwan Ocean University. 
uh, I'm talk going to talk about today is the, uh, the uh, blue carbon, uh, green energy, and uh, precision agriculture. So we talk about is uh, first uh, the product or the concept is called smart agriculture PV facility. So the solar PV facility and the also the recirculating system and also the HTB uh, raceway tank. And the also the second one will be the agriculture of uh, 4.0. That means the called AIoT and uh, we're going to the digitalization and uh, uh, visualization. The third one will be the blue carbon projects. This is a very exciting project and we are going to uh, to doing it right now. So this called uh, we propose to use the uh, blue carbon. It means uh, the uh, the bivalve uh, uh, the uh, bivalve culture, and then uh, after we get this uh, shell, we can do the the uh, the uh, the uh, carbon uh, credit uh, trading. So the th uh, the fourth, last one will be the hardware. So the precision agriculture. There are two major hardware. That means the uh, the smart aeration system. Uh, thing, uh, third one, uh, second one will be smart auto automatic feeding machine. So the first uh, we'll talk about the blue carbon project. Uh, so uh, blue carbon is uh, original is of a coast, uh, the, the carbon in the coast, coastline. So that means the mangrove and the, uh, the, uh, the seagrass and also the salt, uh, the meadows uh, will be the, uh, the source to do in the carbon sink. However, here, but it's very difficult to evaluate the, uh, this, uh, the carbon sink for those kind of system. So this here we propose to use the uh, blue carbon as the code is a uh, bivalve culture. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, the, the bivalve culture or artificial oyster reef because they can do the uh, carbon sink uh, very well. Okay, they can uh, do this uh, so-called carbon uh, secretion very well uh, to deposit this, uh, the, uh, the carbon, I mean the they, because they uptake the carbon dioxide from the ocean or from the at atmosphere or the ocean. Here, we, another uh, approach is use the biological carbon secretion uh, strategy. Uh, doing, uh, uh, once you get this shell, right, this is the ent entity, right? You can evaluate, no problem. So no doubt about that. So we can do in the uh, carbon trade later. Okay, so carbon credit means uh, three, two, uh, there are three things. One is called the uh, voluntary emission uh, the, uh, reduction. Third, uh, second one will be the certi certified emission reduction. So those two things we can do the trading. Okay, in Taiwan we have the, uh, the claim. They can provide uh, many, uh, the, uh, can deposit the carbon. Uh, so now the price is about one ton of the carbon dioxide is about 10 US dollars. I think it has to be a little bit low. Oh, so we can do the treaty. So here we also develop so smart uh, clean agriculture, okay? You see UAV to do the monitoring first, then do the same to the UAV spreading to all, perform all the kind of treatment. So this is kind of be uh, all provide the service. You get a uh, bivalve agriculture, then you can do the, uh, all the kind of uh, IoT, IoT stuff. Then uh, you can then, you get a shell, you can do the uh, credit uh, trading. So now to uh, eat a clam and uh, save your wolves. Okay, the third one, uh, the one smart agriculture PV. So uh, this is the first uh, the uh, facility built in Taiwan, Tainan, okay, uh, by Taiwan so company. So uh, there is a, uh, uh, it's a whole the, uh, the uh, facility, solar facility, the indoor is uh, 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 the rich circuit system. Okay, I just show you I, because the time limits. So this is kind of what called we can do the turnkey project. So we sell whole the uh, facility and all the so agriculture solution. Okay, here she shows you the, uh, there's an uh, advantage to use this uh, indoor uh, solar facility for doing agriculture. Now all the facility has uh, installed the uh, smart uh, uh, system. And also the information goes through your uh, mo mobile, uh, the, uh, uh, you can sell as we see this one. Uh, so there are three things, is uh, you uh, monitor the environment, parameters. Second one will be monitoring the disease. A, th a third one will be monitoring the, um, the growth performance through this uh, the, uh, AI, uh, the uh, recognition uh, system. Okay, the third one, hardware will be the, uh, there, are three, uh, there are two major uh, hardware in the precision agriculture. One is the co uh, aeration machine. Third, uh, second one will be automated feeder. So we host the pattern for both 
Uh, so you can see the, uh, the value will be uh, Seven uh, seven nine ninety four million dollars uh, the value. So every pump should have the aeration system the feeder. So that's our niche. So we threw three um, uh, modules. One is monitoring the environment because of the uh, dissolved oxygen temperature will relate uh, affect the feeding, and so the metabolism. So we are monitoring the uh, environment factor first. Then second one will be the recogni recognition. Uh, use the uh, recognition AI to measure the body length convert to body weight, so they can we can generate the uh, growth curve, so to can judge the uh, the growth performance. Then all the decision making strategy to send to the machine, and then you can change your feeding strategy. We sell the system. Every farmer can hold the, uh, install this kind of system. So we have also small pedal wheel aerators. They also link the, uh, the system to do the other analysis. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. So let's welcome Steve Zhang from National Sun Yat-shen University. Hi, everyone. Nice to have this chance to present our smart farming system. The system is developed by the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of National Sun Yat-shen University. The project was laid by Yin Zhe Huang Professor together with Professor Kuang and Professor Zhang. For swim farmers, they concerned two most important things. Uh, number one is, are shrimp healthy? And then number two, is the feed fully consumed? Those are the most important issues that the shrimp farmers worry about. From the video, you can see traditionally shrimp farmers use a frame net to bring shrimps above water and see the shrimp's health condition and also see the, the feed status. They observe by eyes and by estimation. So the accuracy really pretty much depends on the experience. Those are also the two questions our system will answer. And also, we can do much more than that. OK, our system consists of an underwater camera, a specially designed lighting system, and an AI farming si software system. All together, we can offer to swim farmers the following information. Live, vid live video anytime. Shrimp growing trend. Shrimp health condition. And feed consumption status. OK, these are two sample videos Typically, you can watch through our system. They are very clear. OK. Since we can see clear swim pictures, we can also measure its lens. We measure for a typical, for a typical pound size of 300,000 shrimps in the pond. We can measure roughly 5,000 plus shrimps per day. And we can calculate the average learns of each day. By doing that, we are able to form a standard uh, growing trend for the shrimp uh, grow growing season. Uh, like, as you can see, in blue line. Then we can compare our current season a growing trend with the standard one. And we can send out alarm message to uh, shrimp farmers to, to signal uh, any abnormal situation. For example, uh, in this orange line, the current season uh, is very much off the standard, standard growing trend. So we send out a message. Also, we can calculate the shrimp size distribution. Uh, early season, middle season, and the late season. 
so the farmers can know when to harvest for the health condition we measure in testing, shrimp in testing lens. This is a very important indication of shrimp health. Full means the shrimp is healthy and well fed. And if partial is unhealthy or not fed enough, empty means severe lack of feed. And we can do intestine trend analysis. Also, we can send out message to alarm any abnormal situation. This is a feed consumption process. Uh, you, you can see clearly through our camera, the feed consumption uh, process are from empty and then consumption and then finish totally. This is our farming system, uh, Central Con Control Council. From here, uh, you can see all the uh, videos and all the recognition. On the right-hand side, you can see all the charts and analysis. And on the left, we send out, we send out alarm messages when any abnormal situations happen. Okay, I'm glad to share with you our system is a winner of 2021 Future Tech Award. Okay, thank you very much. Let's welcome Esther Shen from Mike Matter Industrial Company. Hello, I'm Esther from MIC Meter Industrial Company. Our company is manufacturer and also an exporter. And we produce air and water quality meter. And today our topic is water quality and microclimate integrated to electrical control system. And today I'm going to introduce our three new de development products. First one is real-time portable water quality meter. It combines the pH double junction reference online electro and the uh, optical dissolved oxygen. Optical dissolved oxygen electro feature with the temp and the salinity pressure compensation. And it is completely undisturbed by water temperature and water flow and water pressure. And the portable design is easy to take. You can measure dozens of beach pumps without moving the heavy equipment. And use the Bluetooth to send the data to our own cloud immediately. And since it is a new development product, now we only have the pH and optical dissolved oxygen parameter. If you want other parameter, we also can customize for you. And because it is used wireless transmission, you don't need to any connector to upload the data. And you can search the data anytime, anywhere. And the meter featured with backlight function you to use in a dark place. And our app is easy to use. Use your smartphone, download the app, pairing the Bluetooth, and select the major mode, and edit the post name. Then your data will be uploaded to our cloud system. You also can view the history data. And this is our app interface. You can see the current data on it. And you can select the period of time you want to check. And also, you can view the curve data. And not only use app to view the data, you also can view on our cloud system. And here is the remark blank. You can edit the constant and, and take other notes. And by checking the curve data, you will know your water quality is stable or not. And second, this is the electrical control system. It combines wireless router station and the host with four cameras. And you can check your pump situation and monitor your equipment working condition. And you can control at least five motor equipment with manual auto remote control. And this is our app interface. You can see the power underface interruption and power failure and disconnect to internet status and 
our control system is indoors and outdoors applicable. And the most important is all parts in our electrical control system are made in Taiwan. And if there is something wrong with your control system, it will send light alert notification to you. And last one is a microclimate weather station. And we duly got a pattern of the microclimate w integrate with water data. It combines the pond's environment sensing, including temperature, humidity, atmospheric, and the wind direction, wind speed, rainfall, and daylight, and use wireless transmis transmission to link and upload the data. And it also can predict the weather forecast. And our weather system has a waterproof level IP67. So you put outside, you don't need to worry the heavy rain. And by use our in app interface, you not only can view the water data, but also you can see today's weather be like and weather forecast and a lot other information. And let the users can cross-reference with water data and for analysis. Uh, if you are interested for knowing in, interesting in knowing more details, please contact us. And our booth number is Q zero one one nine A. And thanks for listening. Let's welcome Vivi from Silly Tray Group. Hello, my name is Vivi. I'm here representing Electricity Taiwan to share with you our experience and what we have done for Fishery PV. Electricity is entity of CLT Group. We are a floating solar group. But electricity in Taiwan, we do not just do floating solar. We also have ground mounted and rooftop solar dedicated in fishery PV collaborations. CLDT group and electricity, we have our sites all over the world. And of course, Taiwan is one of our very important sites to develop the wonderful renewable energies and collaboration with different industries. Electricity Taiwan, we have different service scope. For installation type-wise, we have floating solar, ground-mounted solar, and rooftop solar. As for the service scope, we do not just do uh, equipment supply. We also have EPC management and asset management and operation and maintenance. As for the type of the power plants, we do a lot of fishery PV. It's also one of the really biggest dedication that we've been working on these years. And we are also studying and then looking into Argy Solar. And aside for that, back to the original purpose of CLT Group, that we wanted to develop solar on some lens that can have multiple usage on it. So for the multiple uses power plant is also one of our dedications that we are really working on. So here is our global experiences throughout the years. We have been having projects in all kinds of water surfaces as we can, as you can see, any irrigation reservoirs, uh, dams or treatment lake or mining pounds or any abandoned fish pounds has been what we have been working on for the past years. But except for floating ones, we also have a lot of rooftop and ground mounted projects in the past and then we are bringing all our global experiences into Taiwan. So here are the projects that we have achieved in Taiwan that are owned by electricity and developed by electricity. So here are some of the projects that are already connected to GRID. One is Tainan Sugu 1, and the other one is Tainan Sugu 2, and then Tainan Jali. So for these three projects in Tainan, they are all a floating solar project that we have developed. Once we feel more comfortable and more confident about our development abilities, we're moving on to what's really important for us and our main development goals these years will be fishery PV. We are very lucky and we are very fortunate with the help of everybody that we are enabled to enter Fishery Research Institute sites for Fishery Research Institute experiment projects. We have two sites in Fishery Research Institute one will be and uh, one will be a ground mounted project is also one of the first ground mounted project of electricity taiwan this project will be fishing clams in yunling taishi area of taiwan so for this project since it's one of our first ground mounted project we consider the size of the machines the boats that in within the fishery activity that will be needed and incorporate this into our ground mounted structure design 
for the next one is also in Taishi Fishery Research Institute. But for this one, instead of ground mounted, we use floating solar to collaborate with fishery PV. In this pound, we are having shrimps as our main kinds of uh, fishery cultures in the pounds. So for this one, it will be a, a one megawatt project right next to our ground mounted project. The purpose of this, we are hoping the fishermen to come by, take a look of how a fishery PV collaboration can look like. We own these two projects by ourselves, hoping that we can be the demo site and then the example for any future fishermen that is interested in this kind of collaborations. So we talked about ground mounted, we talked about floating. There is also rooftop. So to make this up, we also invested a rooftop fishery PV solar ourselves. This is also in Yunlin area, but instead it's in Mailiao. So for this area, we are doing uh, indoor fishery farms with shrimps. So for this, we will be able to collaborate fish uh, ground mounted floating PV and uh, rooftop all collaboration with fishery solar. So for any fishermen who is intended into this area, they can take all this as a references. If you have any further interest in, in fishery PV, please feel free to contact us or to come visit us at our booth. Thank you very much. Let's welcome May from Sunrise ENT Corporation. Hi, this is May from Sunrise, and we would like to share with you our new oyster suspended raft this year. And we will start with a um, brief introduction of Sunrise and moving on to the current situation that we discover in oyster cultivation industry and moving on to the properties of HDPE and ended with um, showing our new oyster raft. So Sunrise was founded in 1995 and we started in professional of um, high density polyethylene. And we are the only two company in Taiwan that are able to produce more than 160 uh, millimeter diameter pipes. And we become the second largest fish caging system, um, fish caging company in the world because we um, develop a fish cage that are able to go into Norwegian um, countries. And we use that technique and experience on the water and in the sea and use it to apply to solar system and moving to green energy. And because of we started early in the industry, we've become the third largest in the world. So concluded that our experience for the past 20 years, um, our specialty would be in anchoring system and also in HDPE. And moving on to the situation that we discovered in Taiwan. So for now, um, most of the oyster cultivation would be in the west side and on the south side of Taiwan. Um, take Tainan X example, there's more than 9,000 oyster rafts that are floated on the water body per year. And it, it creates more than 6 billion um, NTD value. So that's quite an important um, industry in Tainan. However, for 9,000 raft, most of them are made of bamboo raft and per raft that come with um, over um, 10 to 12 floats so that it can support the raft. And for most of the raft, it's made of EPS and EPP and they are known for foam plastic. So for the problem of foam plastic, um, it can absorb um, pollutant quite easily and end up consumed by humans. It also creates a lot of um, waste on the land and it's hard, really hard to clean. And for every year, it creates t uh, more than 200 to 300 rafts that are not recycled, that are not pulled on land. So those are the things that made for our um, waste on the ocean. So that's why we are trying to improve a new product that can solve this problem. These are some of the current flows that are used in Taiwan. And these are the problems that they cause. For example, it's prone to cracking and falling. It causes high pollution. It's really hard to connect it to the float. Also, it's really 
easily damaged and had a short service life for two to three years. So instead, we try to use HDPE that can provide 20 to 30 years of service life. And it has a really high buoyancy and anti-corrosion, so it um, solves all the problems that we mentioned. And it's high flexibility and environmental friendly. This is a short video of some of our oyster farmer that tested on our oyster raft. So it doesn't cause any falling or cracking. Um, and it wouldn't stay out of the food chain and provide um, some fresh and healthy oyster. And we only use the pipelines, not the floaters. So it can easily tie the oyster onto the raft. With the anchoring system, we do not have to be afraid of typhoon and it can stay on the ocean. And the most important part, it has a long durability for two, 20 years to 60 years. So thank you, and you're welcome to visit our booth at Fishering Show. Thank you. Let's welcome Denise from Thomas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your coming all in here. And uh, today, I want to introduce our product glasses. Uh, before start, let me to brief introduce our company. Our company name is Tens, and uh, we are professional to s produce uh, sport glasses for over 20 years, and uh, we uh, cooperate with many international brands. So if you want to uh, build your own glasses brand, uh, welcome to contact with us. Uh, besides the OEM, we also do ODN. So you, if you any have any idea, we are very uh, happy to cooperate with you. And now, uh, let me introduce our first uh, uh, clip on lens. This clip on lens is a very convenient product. It's just to like uh, in insert on the pick cap. So. The traditional clip on just open, turn up and down. But we have the special structure. It can to back forward and to move to uh, forward. Uh, this feature can make the lens more closer to your face. So it can block the sunshine very well. So like this way. So you, if you don't need to use, you just open it. If you need, just to like this way. And uh, we have uh, three different uh, material, lens material for option. This one, this one is a uh, PC polycarbonate. It's very hard, and uh, we coating beautiful rainbow on the outside. And uh, it's anti scratch, and of course we including the UV four hundred. And second one. This one is a polarized lens. Polarized lens can block the reflect light like sunshine or during the raining day. When you wear this polarized lens, it can block um, and make your vision to more clear. And the third one, this is a uh, reading glasses. We have the uh, three degrees, like uh, 150 degrees, 200 degrees, and uh, 250 degrees, depend the uh, user. Okay, so and right now, let me to move next one. This one uh, is uh, over glasses. Uh, we, we make a uh, PC, PC injection with the shell polarized lens to make the wide vision. And this one is very ultra light. So when you wear very long time, you still feel comfortable. And uh, this outside, the shell is very uh, elegant. So it can be the cycling, fishing, or uh, like a uh, fashion glasses can be. Okay. And uh, this one have uh, one more important is over glasses. So if you are the prescription glasses on original face, so you can directly put on. So you don't need to make a new optician lens. Okay. 
And our company focus on to produce good, uh, good looking and the fashion and the comfortable glasses. So if you have an interest in uh, our booth in over there, or you can to visit our website. And thank you for your coming. Thank you. Let's welcome Elisa from Giant Biotechnology. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming this product presentation. I would like to share an innovation, innovationary natural animal feed ingredient, which is efficient, safe, and the best alternative to animal feed. I am Elisa Lin at the Giant Biotech Taiwan. Our product prong balance, prong guard, fish balance, fish guard are functional additive for shrimps and fishes feed. Prepared by our patent hermedicine technology, they are designed for maintain healthy gut, boost immune system, and prevent bacterial disease outbreak. The best way to produce antibiotics free seafood. We are very sure that our products were beneficial to you or your company. The main features include effectively prevent bacterial infection and the disease, such as a pain caused by Vibio, alleviate shrimp disease syndromes, such as enteritis or white feces symptoms, and improve feed conversion ratio. Also, increase shrimp survival rate and production during the whole agricultural period. Prawn balance and the fish balance are suggested for daily usage to keep the shrimps and the fish's health. Prawn guard and the fish guard are suggested as an additional dose when environmental pathogenic factor is increased. All of our ingredients are derived from natural products and have passed trade safety examination by the third party laboratories and no adverse effects on animals and humans. They are heat resistant and have high tolerance toward pit changes. Also, they are compatible with any existing feed manufacturing process, perform well in both fresh water and the marine agricultural conditions. The performance of our technology has uh, uh, fully supported by scientific publication and uh, passed the laboratory challenging test on feed and feed cultural test. Our patent ingredient have received several rewards from international invention contest. We have received and recorded many successful cases from agricultural farm across Taiwan during the past two years. Our product did identify its value to our customers. We would like to share all of these successful cases to all of you. Please visit our website, Facebook, and YouTube channel for, for, for more information. Thank you. Let's welcome Charles Lee from Yuanshang Metal Industrial. Hello, good day, everybody. I'm Charles from Yuanshang Metal Industrial. Uh, today, I'm going to introduce you the combination of uh, uh, agriculture and the green energy. Uh, we, know now, we all know that Taiwan is developing the green energy, especially the wind, offshore wind farm. And also, uh, our, in, our Yuanshang industry also developed in the agriculture uh, technology on the netting uh, technology. So we try to combine the two technologies together to provide the fishermen a, a better uh, future. So first, I would, would like to talk about why we want to develop this technology on the copper oil net. Because we talk to many uh, fishers that their pen, uh, first of all, they have the problem of the biofouling and they have the problem of the manpower, especially um, the biofouling will cause the parasite for the fish. So how do we solve it? So we found uh, our copper alloy, we call AB65, the branding 
It's called AB65, and it's good for the uh, marine environment. So we start to apply this technology to the uh, agriculture environment, and we try to uh, work with the government and the private uh, company to, to apply this uh, aquaculture and uh, carbon net to, with the green energy uh, sectors. So there are several uh, good benefits. First, uh, the, the net is very strong, and uh, uh, you don't need to wash the net because it's carbon oil. It naturally can prevent biofouling, so you will save money on the manpower, and you have bigger volume of net, so we can have more fish in the net. And it's easy to be remodified and installed. Okay, um, most the be the mo most the best benefit of the the, the copper oil net is uh, uh, it provides a healthy environment to the fish, uh, not only the uh, fingerlings, also the adult fish. So we see the the, the experience from Korea. We increase the weight by ten percent and the food conversion rate by ten point five percent. And that uh, you will increase your, your revenue. So we see here, you can see the full net. Uh, this one is the, the on the left is the uh, couple of net. And uh, later, after two years, we developed the hybrid net. Uh, this is a sample uh, we, we shoot uh, for the full copper low net. You see a, a lot of fish are very healthy and uh, have a very good growth in the copper net. We're also working with the International Copper Association. They have projects all around the world, including Taiwan, our project. So I have also show a sample of China. Uh, this is shoot in Zhejiang province. Uh, the government sponsored this project, and uh, this cage is very huge. The, the diameter reached 200 meters. It's a very big project, and they raise uh, yellow fish inside the cage. You can see the, how big it is. Also, they in, imported tourism industry into this uh, cage. Uh, this is our project uh, conducted in Penghu with Dr. Wong. You see this uh, 10 meter, the diameter is about 10 meter, and uh, we installed in Penghu. And this one is what we, what we did uh, in Penghu, and uh, we used the crane to, to build the 10 10 cages at the Penghu Harbor. And thanks to the fishery in department and the Taiwan, uh, National Taiwan Ocean University, we make this uh, project very successful. Okay, you can see that after that, we want to try to help the fishermen to reduce the cost. We start in the hybrid net with plastic and combined with copper oil inside. And uh, from Korean experience that you, we increase the volume by 40%, FCR 25%. And overall, we increased the revenue by 18%. Also, in Taiwan, we have the experience that uh, we increased the uh, um, revenue by about 40% uh, uh, higher because uh, although you have higher investment, also the, your revenue or, or your output is even higher. So that covers your initial investment increase. Also, I show you some picture about uh, how do we combine this green energy with aquaculture and our carbon net. You can see this one sample. This is another sample from the, uh, I, I found on the internet. And this is probably the, the future of our cases. Also, also you, can, you can combine it with tourism. Okay, thank you for your time and enjoy it. Hope you have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>